If there was a country that was bringing all of its gold home, maybe you should... Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We are a channel that likes to hold physical gold and silver. To support my creation, please subscribe. A major European country and one of the largest gold holders in the world has quietly brought home all of its gold back inside its borders. I don't know if you guys are history buffs or not, but European countries have not always gotten along with their neighbors. This may be the first time that this country has had all of its gold inside its borders since the 1930s. And countries are not always transparent about their gold holdings, so someone had to do some research to connect the dots. So my research is to bring you someone else's research. At the end of the video, I will point out three lessons I've picked up from this story that can translate to our personal gold holdings. So if you like gold and appreciate good research, please give this video a thumbs up. So there was a very recent headline on Zero Hedge, but it really jumps to a blog on Gainesville Coins. And I found the Gainesville Coin articles to be very well researched and credible. Here is the headline from Gainesville Coins. France has repatriated all its monetary gold. April 15th, 2022. The Central Bank of France has covertly repatriated 221 tons of gold between 2013 and 2016. Since then, all its monetary gold is stored in La Sauterraine in Paris. Repatriating all gold is related to France's aim to revamp Paris as a gold trading center. Introduction of the gold repatriation trend. Gold's role in international finance and geopolitics has changed dramatically since 2008. The great financial crisis reminded central banks of radical uncertainty and the humbling aspect of risk. Instead of net sellers, Central banks have turned into net buyers of gold, steadily purchasing more than 400 tons a year. Most European central banks own relatively more gold than their Asian peers. Thus, some European governments haven't bought additional metal, but have instead reassessed their gold policy. In 2013, the German central bank was the first to announce it would repatriate gold from the Banque de France and the Federal Reserve of New York. Eventually, it would have 50% of its gold stored in Germany. The other half would be left in New York and London. According to the German Central Bank, their gold policy serves three objectives, cost efficiency, security, and liquidity. Cost efficiency has to do with storage costs at different locations. Security is about the safety of vaults and in which country the vaults are located. How much is a country willing to store abroad? Liquidity involves holding bars in liquid marketplaces such as London to efficiently swap metal for foreign exchange in times of emergency. After Germany, other countries such as the Netherlands and Austria followed by repatriating monetary gold. There's been no official news from France. When France repatriated its gold, at the London Bullion Market Association conference in 2013, one of the keynote speakers was Banque de France Director of Market Operations, Alexandre Gautier. On slide 15 of his presentation, we can see Banque de France stored 91% of its 2,435 tons in Paris at the time and 9% abroad. Currently, we can read on Banque de France's website that all its gold is stored in its own vault in Paris. The gold stored abroad must have been repatriated after 2013. Knowing exactly when is impossible. For one, because Banque de France doesn't respond to emails regarding this subject. Second, Banque de France employees that answer the phone don't speak English. So Banque de France first disclosed that all of its gold was in Paris by late 2016. Therefore, Banque de France must have repatriated 221 tons, 9% of that 2,400, sometime between 2013 and 2016. Quite likely, France repatriated from the UK. 
In the 60s, France was the most vocal critic of the United States, which was printing much more dollars relative to the gold they had backing those dollars. France aggressively converted dollars into gold and pressed for a reform of the international monetary system. Any of the French gold stored in a liquid marketplace abroad after Bretton Woods was likely in London. Reviving Paris as a gold trading center and the financial crisis in 2008 acted as a wake-up call for gold, she writes, which proved to be an opportunity for gold and the Banque de France. She shares that since 2009, Banque de France has been upgrading all its monetary gold to LBMA good delivery standards. In the modern Western gold wholesale market centered in London, all bars must meet the same criteria, LBMA good delivery, to ease trading. Any bars that don't adhere to the standard will trade at a discount, which can increase during a crisis. So LBMA good delivery bars must weigh between 350 and 430 fine troy ounces with a fineness of no less than 995 parts per thousand. The Central Bank of France has made sure all its gold can be deployed in the wholesale market if it desires to do so. As well as upgrading its stock, the Banque de France is taking various other steps to ensure it meets LBMA criteria. The renovation of the historical vaults housing the gold reserves in Paris has nearly been completed. The floor will be able to support heavy forklift trucks and intermediary shelves have been inserted between the existing shelves to ensure the gold is only stacked five bars high, making handling easier. As a result, with the improvements in the Banque de France's vaults and the innovations in its service offering, Paris could gradually re-emerge as a key marketplace for gold. France's central bank saw huge potential for gold right after 2008. Based on Gouard's article, my assessment is that Banque de France expects gold's role in the financial system will increase. Why else upgrade all of the French gold, overhaul the vault, set up a new IT system, and develop a full set of trading services for foreign central banks in Paris? The lessons we can learn from the Banque de France. Number one, the 2008 financial crisis was a wake-up call. Number two, best to hold your gold yourself. And number three, best to hold your gold in the most liquid form possible. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.